Her mother is speaking out after she says her nine year old son was left in the cold waiting to be let into the school building. This happened after a lockdown was issued for all Anthony ISD schools after authorities searched for a suspect last Thursday morning. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez spoke with that mother and her son to learn more about what happened. Rosemary. Eric, that mother of the child, Valerie Ramirez, says that on that day, both her and her son, Zachary, arrived late to the school. She says she signed him in and he went, he made his way into the classroom like normal, but she wouldn't find out until after school what had occurred. I saw the fence and I said, have a good day. I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's a better day. And yep. And he went to his door, yep. where he usually goes in, and he was never let inside. There was nobody at the door. Valerie Ramirez and her fourth grade son, Zachary, are speaking out after they say he was left waiting outside of the school building in the cold. Last Thursday, the district issued a lockdown for all Anthony ISD schools. The only problem is, Ramirez says when she dropped off her son, that lockdown wasn't yet in place, and therefore her son couldn't be let in something the school district disputes. Nobody called me. I had to know from the teacher after I had asked him what happened. And he's like, oh, they left me outside, mom, during a lockdown. And then that's when the teacher came and talked to me. And she's like, oh, there was a little incident. He was left outside for a little bit of time. But he was fine, he was fine. Ramirez says her son was outside for almost 40 minutes and doesn't know what he was doing during that time. Something that she is frustrated about, but that's also leading to other challenges. It's hard with him because when he wants to open up, he'll open up. But when he doesn't and he feels scared and he feels like other people are gonna get in trouble, he shuts down. She says she personally talked to the principal and superintendent, but she says they don't share the same concerns. I'm trying to be an advocate for my own child. I just want somebody to be held accountable and be like, you know what, Ms. Ramirez, this is where we made the mistake. And it's important to note that I did reach out to officials with Anthony ISD. They say that during a lockdown, adults are trained to lock themselves and the students in the classroom. They say eventually the school discovered that that student was outside. And once it was deemed safe, the student was allowed in. A spokesperson said in part, quote, the safety of our students and staff is our top priority. We ask our parents to help us by ensuring their students are dropped off on time for the safety of the child and others, end quote. That mother says she's considering transferring her son to a different district. Rosemary Montañez, ABC 7.